Okay. Well, let's go do this. <laughs> it's an interesting feature unavailable or installed. Well, I guess I will see what that's all about. Well, so far, so good. <laughs> Back and forth. We got uh, almost 14 acres in. Doing about uh, just about seven acres per hour. First time really using the Ripper uh, more than just like trying it out this spring. It's going really well so far. Of course, I gotta turn around. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. Well, it's uh, November. Wow. What? I don't even know. Fourth. <laughs> the fourth today. So I've been finished up with combining for about a week now. Well, exactly a week. Uh, delivered my last load on Friday uh, before the end. Uh, before the end of the month, at the 29th. So I finished combining the 28th. Went well. Uh, I do have, still need to kind of give a recap on some of my thoughts and everything on how it went. But uh, overall, you know, yields were, I think what a lot of people are, have experienced, yields were a lot better um, than other years. Um, do have some downsides um, as well, so. But uh, thankfully, it hasn't rained for about 10 days um, where I'm at in Michigan. So um, I know, unfortunately, a lot of guys are still struggling with the rain. And I'm figuring uh, if I can take advantage of this nice uh, dry spell to uh, get, get fall tillage in. Um, this is my first year using the Ripper. I'm really hoping, uh, I'd like to see how it does, uh, how it maybe changes everything in the spring. Uh, maybe it won't be that that big of a difference, but uh, yeah, to me, I just, I, I feel like I have a little bit of a hard pan and I, I'm just uh, interested to see how the Ripper um, is able to handle that. There have been spots um, that I think that I have compaction, that, you know, the Ripper is also uh, working and I, I think that will be a good thing so let's turn around quick especially uh, uh, I don't know how good quality this video is right now but uh, especially areas like this um, it goes from sand a little bit heavier to some clay uh, kind of hoping that uh, the ripper can help break some of that apart and Play spot. So, uh, yeah. See how much I can get done. Work on it uh, tomorrow after work and then Saturday. So, the aim is uh, to not lift it up at all, obviously. Um, <laughs> I say that, and now I can't just sit here and spin. Very few times I've had to lift it up at all. Mostly just socking it down and, and letting it go. So yeah, I may have shifted it up a little soon. But 
Last year I was able to get everything uh, tilled up in the fall. It made the spring a lot better. I think it um, uh, made it made it a nicer seed bed. Uh, getting the more of the stalks uh, worked in a little bit. Uh, cut, um, and then this year, um, with it being a disc gripper, uh, hoping that it cuts it up a little bit more. So obviously, I won't know until the spring, um, and then the growing season next year to see if it makes a discernible or well discernible uh, difference but uh yeah discernible uh, all right so turn back around well i had to do a lot Let's see how these are doing Are so good. Yeah. Going good. Going well.